everyone welcome to my channel my name is Nana Binayan today I'm going to cook one of my aunties recipes I have more than 20 aunties I'm going to cook one of the Ghanaians food this food is all over the net but this recipe is special from my auntie Abina Jempua Amuno aka a rice pechete if you want to know how i'm going to prepare this tiozafi please keep watching and see you in another video to start with this tiozafi stew we need salmon roast boneless meat meat on a bone you can use any meat of your choice or any fish of your choice Molokia leaves or ayoyo or jute leaves it has many names chopped onions chopped pepper tomato puree tomato sauce or blended tomatoes blended red onions mix spicy or mix spices i mix it myself kenyai pepper ginger paste this is palm oil we are going to use two tablespoon palm oil we will wait until it melts then we are going to add the onions and the pepper same time the chopped onions and the chopped pepper same time we will stir it for some time when it's ready we then add the tomato puree and we are going to stir it like three to five minutes before we add the other ingredients the tomato sauce or blended tomatoes then we stir it we will leave it for some time then we add the kenyan pepper salt to taste then we stir it After some time, we stir it again and add the meat. We are going to add all the meat and the fish and the rest of the ingredients. That's the meat, the other meat. Then we stir it. Then we add the salmon and the blended onions, ginger paste, mixed spices, and we stir it. We will then leave it on the stove for 5 to 10 minutes, then it's ready. Yummy! We will start with 1 tablespoon water, that's for the molokia leaves. We will wait until it's boiled before we add the molokia leaves. While we are waiting for that water to boil, I then place another saucepan on the stove then measure two cups of water and that we are going to use it to boil the tiozafi so now the molokia leaves water is ready so i cut the edge of the bag and then pour the molokia leaves 
in the hot water. Then I add the other spices. That's the mixed spices. That's the leftover mixed spices. And stir it till it mix. Then I change the heat to medium heat. And it's exactly. We need cassava powder. That is coconte, sorghum powder, yellow corn powder, potatoes powder. Then. We are going to mix all these four powder together. Then we are going to stir it. We will make sure it mixes well. So we take to the boiling area. I add little of the powder or the flour in the hot water instead. And I will add the rest of the powder little by little. And here it has become thick, so I'm boiling it. And I add little water and I will cover for some time. So later I open and boil it again. Here I'm making it run with a plastic and it's ready.